Hi, my name is Becky. Welcome to Learning Chinese. 学中文. Today, I'll go into a character that I believe encompasses some of the most basic strokes that we have just learned, and I'll teach you how to type Chinese on the computer. So first, we're going to start off with that character that I mentioned, spring, or chun. Chun for spring. Now, when you look at this character, you see a top and a bottom, you see dashes and horizontals and verticals, and you see a box. I'm going to go through how to put it all together. First, let's exit, and we can go to this, where I'm going to clear it once again, and Chun or spring. Spring time. So the flowers come out, and here we go. So, horizontals before verticals and top to bottom. So, three horizontals first. And then top to bottom, why you have this dash up here, and then you also have a dash over here. And now, about this box, you do the left side, like so, three corners. And then you do the middle line and the last line. Again, over here, you have the three horizontals, like so. And you have the dash down here. Or that was supposed to connect like this. Then you have a third, second dash, sorry. A box to complete. Remember, three sides. Don't fill it in, don't close it until you fill it in. This time you only have one line in between, and then you close off the box so that it's final. Just like that. That is how you write chun or spring. Now, I was saying a second ago that we can also type on the computer. Well, how do you do that? Here are some basic rules. Typing on the computer, you have to know how to write your ping. You have to be able to recognize the word. Typing on the computer, the program will give you a list of words to choose from. All of them have the same ping, but they don't have the same accents. Or they may have the same accents, but different meanings. So this is where your vocabulary comes into play and where your knowledge of accents come into play as well. So when you're working, just remember three rules. Type in the ping, find the word, and type the number that's next to it, and then press enter if that is the word you wish. I will show you how to do this. So, let's open up a new one, and let's say I want to write what do I want to write? Let's say I want to write spring. Well, what is the ping for spring? That's C, H, and you notice how that little bar comes up? I'll try to zoom in for you right here. I'm not sure if that's much better. I know they are very small, but hopefully you can see a little better. So what we do is I type what you type in comes in on that left side right there. And then the words that match are on the right side. So I'm going to finish. I typed in C H U N and that's the pinyin for chun. And then look, the one we wanted is the very first character. So what do you do? You press 1 because that's the number next to it. Now what's all this? That is thing, that, those are words that you can put with chung and make a phrase or make a sentence or common phrases that you have in Chinese. If you don't want any of that and all you want is the character, push a period and that goes away. If you don't want the period, simply go back and delete for chung. Now, let's say you want to do something complicated, like, um, what have we? You could do ni hao for hello. Well, ni, what's the ping? 
N I. So you go to your keyboard, type in N I. Hopefully you can see those. And once again, look, you, your word happens to be number one. And if it isn't, no worries. Continue scanning down the list until you find it. If you don't find it on the first row, you press page down on your computer and you can get the second list and so on and so forth until you find it. Most good chances that you are going to find your work. Word, you may have to look through it and work a little harder, but it should be there. So look, ni, and we want us to say hao. So common phrases such as these, you can put the ping together. Now what's the ping for hao? It's H-A-O. I've already typed in ni and we see that they have a match. Right after, we're going to type in hao, H-A-O, and look at that. It's all there for you, and there's none other, so there's no confusion. Right there, number one, ni hao, press one, and look, on your computer, you get ni hao. And sometimes this only works with phrases that are very, very common. If you have a phrase that when you type in all the ping together and doesn't show, then you might have to go through word and word, word by word, and find the match. But your computer is very helpful in typing Chinese. It recognizes most characters, and the ping is something very good to know, especially in modern day technology, such as this, when you can use it to type your essays without handwriting all of it. But handwriting is calligraphy, and it is useful as well. Thank you. See you soon.